All right. Good evening, everybody. <clears throat> Not necessarily going to be a game as much as just a, uh, I don't know, an experiment. So we're using 1967. So I want to thank Bernie for doing the weekend at Bernie's thing a few weeks ago. So I'm going to take a number of baseball sims. I haven't decided yet. Six or seven of them. And we're going to kind of autoplay the season. So um, each time. So it's definitely going to be this one. Action PC baseball. Out of the park baseball. Digital diamonds. Pure sim. Uh, did I say baseball for Windows? I can't remember. I, I just worked it. I, I work 10 hour days now. So uh, what have you. <clears throat> so and then. I think what we could do, which would be a lot of fun, is just uh, sort of have a talk about what we look for in digital baseball sims. So we're going to go ahead and uh, let this one do its thing. All right. So you can see everybody's starting out zero and zero, nothing, nothing, whatever. Um, this, again, it doesn't get a lot of love on the channel, but uh, I thought it was nice. Um, all the games that I've chosen, um, I either have all the seasons for, or I have all the seasons for them, either bought them or they were included. This is one of the game where uh, pretty much every season is included, just like Digital Diamond, um, out of the park. For Baseball for Windows, I have the ability to create, recreate whatever seasons I want and what have you. So um, maybe I'll do this again some other time where I can include Diamond Mind. Uh, but anyhow, that's our league report. So I'm just going to go, eh, nobody comes in. Uh, this will be something you can look at uh, a bit later. All right, so Dombra Baseball, and what we're going to do is we're going to start just by doing um, April 1967. So uh, please confirm. Yep, I do. Okay, so right now we are doing April 1967 in every uh, baseball sim that I'm doing. These are as-played schedules. Um, I haven't, I mean... I might set up some ballparks and stuff for baseball for windows, uh, but I don't know. It depends. I'm only going to broadcast a few of these games just for fun. Uh, but just letting this go here so that anybody who follows the 1967 season, whoever you're rooting for, we'll see how this plays out. Um, one thing that's nice about Don Brock baseball is the ease through which you can um, install these seasons. So it's a lot of fun. So hopefully sound is coming through. Okay. I'm using StreamYard for this. No need for um, OBS. So go ahead and let this go. We have, what, 40-some games completed already. Hey, hey, there is Dwayne Martz, YouTube Network. How you doing, Dwayne? Um, so, so much baseball yesterday and today and everything. So um, just going to kind of do these in a little bit of bites. This might be, this might go through a couple parts. I don't know whether we'll do the whole season tonight or not. And uh, might even play a game out of this one, out of each of the Sims, just for fun. Um, and Dwayne got hello Av, and then he's got hello or hello Av, then hello everybody. All right, so Dwayne greeting everybody. Mm, that's good. So this isn't really meant to be a comparison of these baseball Sims because to really compare them, you would have to run each season, you know, like maybe three or 4,000 times in each sim. So um, this isn't really, really meant to be uh, a demonstration of what sim is best or what sim isn't, anything like that. It's not really about that. Um, you know, I, I, I love and I love most of the games I play. I like some, and this is one of the ones I like. Um, I think there's a lot of room for um, some improvement, especially in terms of graphics and animation. But it comes with everything. It's super easy to set up a season, what have you. Um, even if you want to just make your own. Um, and, and it comes, there's a ton and ton of libraries um, for this thing. So haven't heard from Richard in a while. Don't know how he's doing. I do know that... Uh, Steve Tate had said that one time Richard Dombrov was really big in the action PC community. And I, in fact, um, did some digging around some a few years ago and found his um, an all time greats franchise uh, league that he did, um, which is pretty good for action PC. And uh, basically what this game is, is Sports Illustrated Baseball, kind of on steroids, obviously, because you can do a lot more. 
I know there's some guy on YouTube trying to do his handmade version of, of this and no knock on him. It's pretty good, but this one, this one's a little better. I mean, the, the splash graphic here is pretty bad. We've already talked about that though. And I've addressed with Richard and he doesn't want to change it. Unfortunately, I think he gets some players. You can um, roll dice and play this thing. Okay. So here we go. Uh, the scheduled games have been done. So we're going to go ahead and close this and we're going to look at some league reports here for 1967. Doug Hunt, welcome in. He said, uh, yeah, everybody, um, he said, Dwayne, everybody had uh, Don Bar baseball for many years. Uh, one one of the things that I like that Richard does do is um, I originally bought the game, was it 2012 or 2013? And then when he updated it, I mean, it didn't just update, it completely changed up so many things. Um, he gave, it was the, the, the update was, was free, free. And it's awesome. Um, so anyhow, let's look at things here. So kind of surprising here. Um, so the Boston Red Sox right now, two and a half up on the Minnesota Twins. So the Red Sox are 14 and three. How about that? And I like, you know, you get some nice, nice little stats going on here. Minnesota Twins, two and a half back. This is as is the end of April, 1967. Uh, the Angels, three back. The Indians, three and a half back. The White Sox and Tigers, each five back. Baltimore Orioles, six and a half back. The Senators and Kansas City Athletics, nine back. And the Yankees, uh, true to form in the late 60s, pretty crappy team, 11 and a half out. Uh, the big surprise right now in 1967 in the National League um, is that the Pirates are in first place and the Cardinals are in dead last. So the Bucks are off to a really, really fast start at 11 and six. They're in a virtual tie with the Atlanta Braves who are 12 and seven. Uh, the Cubs and the Dodgers are one and a half out two games back The giants uh, at two and a half out would be the Astros and Phils three and a half back. The Reds five back the Mets and six and a half back uh, the St. Louis Cardinals. So what's nice about this is you can build this into a website. You can export everything into an Excel sheet. So pretty, pretty cool. Um, kind of like it. Uh, but the Atlanta Braves right now, they're on an eight game tear and the Pirates on a uh, five game winning streak. And then the American League, the Angels have won six straight and the Twins um, have won five. So we can look at that. We can see how they've done team versus team. We can look at each team's stats which is uh pretty pretty cool i like that so I'll select another team let's see why the pirates uh the pirates finished i believe 81 and 81 in 1967 so um but this would be uh the beginning of what would be those great pirate teams in the 1970s the lumber company and you can see the nucleus there there's uh ah, there's clemente there's manny sangay and there's stargill um, so you, you get even batters versus left batters versus right pitcher fielding, catcher fielding. So fielding by position, a lot of stuff going on really in this game. Um, you can look at overall league stats, um, American league batting, national league batting, pitching. Um, the game's really, a, it's, a, it's, it, it, it's not pretty, um, but it's a neat game. It's a neat game. It's, it's one I'm not usually going to do on the channel, but you can see, that he was inspired by action PC baseball, at least in these, right, in these screens. Um, in the game itself, it's definitely Sports Illustrated baseball. This game is like fifteen dollars or something. It's it's um, I, I, it's way better than Baseball Mobile. I'll say that. It's pitching leaders. Um, you can also there's game results, game results, game results, game results. And you can get box scores for all of these and score sheets for every game that's been played, which I think is really, really cool. Uh, it will give you some notable games and logs um, if you want to do that. So uh, but we're going to go ahead and close this. Um, I just have and then do we have any injuries right now? It doesn't look like we No, nope, no injuries. So that's kind of nice. Close this. Um, Let's just look at game results. We're just going to pick one just at random. Senators beat the Yankees uh, four to nothing. Let's uh, check out the box score. And how do I want to open it? I guess I'm going to open it in uh, Google Chrome. Why the hell not? And uh, 
So let me drag this over so you guys can see it. Automatically generates a web page. And uh, there you go. I'm not going to be doing this for every sim, showing off every little thing. But this is certainly one that uh, I think is kind of deserving. So uh, there you are. Kind of cool. And it gives you this nice little... This little box score action that opens right in a web page. And of course, if we want to do a score sheet, um, then we can also uh, look at a score sheet. So pretty nice, pretty nice. Don Brown Baseball Sim does a lot of good things. All right, let's close it. And let's go on to, uh, let's, let's do May. So we're going to do May and let's see what happens while this is playing out uh doug says um yes the player photos are in there and so are the ballparks and so are the logos this is sort of like super minimal setup so yeah oh he i didn't hear that he really way to go jimmy leland all right going to the hall of fame very nice yay it's been a while since we've had a bucko in there so Thanks for that news, Doug. I didn't, uh, I didn't see it. But yeah, guys, this is uh, again logos, ballparks, players. Um, it's super, super easy to work with this game. Its biggest downfall, its biggest downfall, is the animation. The ball animation is squiffy as hell. It really, really is. Um, but it's, it's. I don't know. I mean, it's it's fun. It's it's kind of utilitarian. I mean, probably what Richard ought to do is instead of having maybe ball animation, just do what Digital Diamond does. Um, and and I think he would and, and change the splash screen. I've shown this before on the channel, and um, the the older version looks nicer with the the opening screen. Um, this is like. This is like a French impressionist on acid or something. I have no idea, whatever. But it's 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 a good game. I mean, for the money, I like it. I play a lot more than again. I play baseball mogul. That's for sure. Um, I will not be buying baseball mogul anymore with Clay Dressloff going off on on Marcus Heinzon and out of the park baseball. It's like you guys saw my rant about that. Anyhow, this will be fun, and I think, you know, maybe leading up to something that Bernie wants to talk to um, about, you know, why we play what we play. I mean, because we do make conscious choices, certainly. Uh, there are certain baseball sims that we prefer over others, and it'd be interesting to get into a conversation about why, and it would be okay to, to compare them. What do you look for in a baseball sim? Um, and this is just to see... You know, I, I, there's a lot of complaints that I hear all over the place about AI. Well, you know, Legends Sports Universe made a great, great point about this. How many times have we gotten upset um, about, uh, you know, about human managers making boneheaded decisions? You know, I mean, I think we expect AI to be perfect, and it's not going to be, um, at least not in our lifetime, but... Uh, I think it does a pretty damn good job. You know, Dwayne and hey, welcome in, John DFW. You know, paying close attention to Dwayne Martz and you know, and what he's doing in Digital Diamond Baseball in that 1961 Braves and Yankees replay. Um, and I've been playing Diamond Mind offline, but not through a long season as Dwayne has. And uh, it's pretty amazing, even with Dwayne right playing right, so having that human. Uh, intervention into the game, how really amazingly close the stats are in digital diamond baseball. Hats off to Mark Cohen. Um, Cause again, to get back to baseball mogul, I've seen some bizarre anomalies in that game um, because again, it's not, it's not as many options as some of these more robust sims. And um, but yeah, anyhow, some engines definitely have better bullpen management than others. That's absolutely right. Uh, so John DFW is saying baseball max with a with an exclamation point. So a couple guys have talked about their impressions on it. Is there some embargo from Stratomatic Baseball that they're not allowed to act, that they can't actually show the game? Um, our Red Sox fan had messaged me that it kind of sort of looks like a kind of cross between old time baseball and out of the park sort of kind of. 
Um, Dave Gardner and his remarks, I guess he's still kind of eh, about it, jester. Eh. But I'd, I'd love to see some gameplay, but I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that Strat Max has, uh, the Stratomatic has an embargo. You can't show the game or something. I don't know. Tech Sags, good to see you, man. Sports Gaming Journal, Jamie, how you doing? Ella Park has good bullpen management. Action PC can be, yeah, you got to get deep into Action PC to set it up right. Ella Park does it pretty good out of the box. One of Ella Park's suspect things sometime are um, fielder ratings. Um, that's been an issue. Um, I, you know what? I don't think there's a perfect baseball sim, which is why I'm kind of doing it over all these games. And I don't care. I mean, probably like, you know, for me, uh, you know, as much as I love old time baseball, that game has one of the serious issues in that is there's no switch hitters. Everybody is a switch hitter in that game. Max Carey, uh, you know, Ozzie Smith, Mickey Mantle, whatever. They're all right handers, which makes no sense. All right, now let's see where we are as we've gone through May. All right, league reports. And here we go as we go back to standings after a minute. There we go. All right, is it looking more realistic? Well, the Pirates have slid down, certainly. Holy moly. The Red, Stock, the Red Sox are still atop the American League. They're seven games in front, but there's a dogfight for uh, second place, but these teams are seven games back. Uh, the Orioles, Twins, and Indians. I mean, you guys want to bring up baseball reference? Go ahead as a comparison. Tigers and Angels, seven and a half back. White Sox, nine and a half out. The Senators are pretty cooked at uh, 15 back. Yankees, 14 and a half. Just, it's, again, it's a percentage point difference. And then back to 15 with the Athletics. I like the league play that you see in out of the park baseball and action piece. You can actually see it play out. Uh, the Giants in first place to see the Cardinals are still still 11 and a half out. The Bucks have fallen from grace. Uh, they're 10 and a half back. So uh, Braves two back here in 1967. So just stop me if there's anything that you want to see or not or whatever. I'm just going to keep moving with this. Okay. Um, just curious to see who our batting leaders are, though, right now. So let's see if we have a lot of usual suspects. Uh, Yaz leading with 11 home runs. Adolfo Phillips and Bud Harrelson each with four trip, trip, triples. 1960 is not exactly a, a great time for triples. Uh, Yaz with slugging percentage. And this is both leagues together, by the way. Um, Kurt Flood right now, the 390 average. Again, early in the season, we're only through two months. So expect to see this uh, change a lot. But Yastrzemski, as you would expect, is having a monster year. And why not? He did uh, he did win the Triple Crown that year. So this would be a season I would consider replaying, like for real. All right. Let's keep going. Let's go to June. End of June. Yes. All right. There we go. So, so John says he'd be curious to see a 67 replay out of the park using real lineups. If I would do it, it probably would be an out of the park baseball. Um, just because I don't know, <laughs> just because it's, 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 yeah. I mean, I wouldn't do a season replay in this game. This, this is more like to me, like just a fun little sandbox or fun, big sandbox i guess but uh yeah hopefully we can we can get into a chin wag late one night get some folks in here get them on mic i you know and talk about what we look for um you know in, in a pc game i mean you know for me one of the big things is having all the seasons but that doesn't necessarily make it a great game i mean i think baseball mogul is more than a bit long in the tooth to use an old cliche um i hear that clay's doing that season ticket baseball is fantastic the board game and i would love to see him just retire baseball mogul and make you know maybe maybe translate season ticket into the digital format um so for me though it is about having choices and at least getting close i'm not looking for pinpoint accuracy in a baseball sim you know again you know you could take the same real baseball if somehow you had godlike powers 
And you go back to 1967, right? And it's played out. And then you snap your fingers and play it again. The the actual season is it, they're not going to turn out the same. There's just no way. You know, there's so many different factors. Even if you had the weather, the same weather for every game, it's not going to turn out the same. Um and the other thing that I like, that I look for in a baseball sim at least, um, is I, I like the availability of a pitch-by-pitch -pitch mode. And that's where I'm, I think out-of-the-park baseball and action PC baseball shine because ultimately, you know, baseball's a situational game and it is really about that confrontation between batter and hitter. And, you know, you've got runners on, you know, depending upon that count, are you going to steal? Are you going to hit and run? What are you going to do, Right. Um, that said, yeah, I do play a lot, most games at bat mode just for time's sake, I suppose, or whatever. And, um, but so that's something I look for. Um, I also like the ability to be able to kind of do what I want. And so as good of a, a, a game as PC replay baseball, I've heard is, um, it's not very homebrew friendly and the seasons are kind of, kind of expensive. Um, Graphics don't really mean a lot to me. I mean, one of my favorite games is baseball for windows and it's basically a ballpark backdrop, much the same as digital diamond baseball. The only difference is it has a hall of fame announcer. Um, so Dwayne Martz is correct. Um, I just want realism. Don't want the last place team uh, finishing 20 games. I had or whoever when I didn't want them finishing 40 games in the last rate. Got you. Hey Mike, how you doing? Just an action PC session with SGG Jamie and um, David Lando on Discord. Fun times. Yeah. If you guys played head to head, it is super, super fun. Uh, Steve Tate and I used to do some head to head stuff. I haven't seen State. He's playing Roblox or something, but uh, those were those were fun. And it's a super easy game to do head to head. A lot of fun. Uh, you should give it a shot. Super fun, super fun. So you're playing your 1986 season. Now hopefully you're gonna you're gonna broadcast to the larger community again, Mike. I think you did a great job. I had to leave right after your game. There's David. How you doing, David? Um. So yeah. Um, we're getting through June here. In this, uh, and we're again we're auto simming. 1967 through their six or seven baseball engines. So I figured we would do this one first. Um, this is the one that, except for actually this gets the, the baseball mogul gets the least exposure on here. And this is probably the next one. But if he would just take out the animation, if not fix it, I would probably play this game more on the channel. Seriously. I really, really would. You can play it as a, Baseball sim, like digital baseball sim, you can roll dice. You can manually input dice. Um, good luck, I guess, finding the dice for this because it is Sports Illustrated Baseball, sort of a specialized dice. The hitter charts, pitcher charts, there's a lot going on under the hood in this game. I think uh, for one-man developer, pretty good job. Pretty good job. Um, all right, Mike says he's got to hit the hay soon. We'll do some more on YouTube soon. Looking forward to it, Mike. Looking forward to it. Um, Texas says one game you really like that I couldn't play due to the graphics. PC game, can't remember the name. Would it be old time baseball? I don't know. I mean, old time baseball is a pretty nice looking game. Um, so let's see. All right, let's see how much our yeah, if you can remember what it is, Tex Ags. Is it is it Diamond Mine Baseball? No. So, John, I offered, I, I, I even said, I said, look, the community really would, would, would be more interested in your game if you would just change the splash screen. And he basically said no. <laughs> so, I mean, it is what it is. And uh, I've shown the original game, and the original game, Splash screen looks better, but the graphics in game here, well, the graphics are the problem with this game, um, unfortunately, because there's a really nice baseball engine running beneath this. Okay, let's go back to standings. Red Sox, uh-oh, the Orioles making a run at the Red Sox now. 
Uh, the Orioles was an 11-game winning streak. Holy moly. Um, Cardinals are still below 500. The Pirates are also below, but they're, they're doing better. So right now, if the season went in now, it would be a Red Sox-Giants World Series, not, uh, not Red Sox-Cardinals. Interesting stuff so far. Um, see if we've had, do we, have we had anything here yet for anybody? I don't know. Search criteria. Let's see. Have we had any no hitters? Um, I don't think so. I don't think we've had any no hitters. I nope, guess we, ah, I'm not going to worry about this part. Anyhow, that's not the idea of it. Uh, let's, let's just look at batting. Let's see how, um, let's see how, uh, Yaz is doing. So Mandel with 21 home runs. Yastrzemski with 16. Uh, who's leading in batting right now? Kurt Flood. So where's Yaz Stremski? Where's Carl Yastrzemski? He is not on here. He's not leading in batting anywhere. So I'm not sure what happened. Uh, Yastrzemski leading in uh, uh, slugging percentage. Mickey Mandel just two thousandth of a point behind him. Was the killer. But uh, yeah, still, Yastrzemski's having a hell of a good season here, nonetheless. like to see Billy Williams up there. Six triples. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, but let's see. What else can we look at here? Stolen bases. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's uh, Yastrzemski leading with 63 RBI. Brooks Robinson kind of a distant second at 48. All right, we'll go back to standings. Well, let's look at team versus team. So let's see how the Red Sox are doing. Who are the Red Sox beating up on? <clears throat> the White Sox. Uh, the Kansas City Athletics. And really having their way with the Yankees and the Senators. So Red Sox fans, there you go. Uh, right now the Red Sox are 8-3 and three against the Yankees. And 8-3 and three against the Senators. 6-4 and four against the White Sox. Okay, go back to standings. Now this we might just go. I might just go ahead and just do this whole season. We're doing it now. All right. I know a lot of you guys are curious as to what the game kind of looks like, but it was an older game. So diamond mine. Okay, here. I'll, let me just bring it up real quick. Boom. I bet you it's this. It's got to be diamond mine. Is it that Tex Ags? I mean, this is an excellent game. An excellent game. Um, but yeah, I'm guessing it was this one, which we're not going to do 1967 in this because I don't have 1967 for this. Okay, so it was Diamond Mine Baseball. Yep, yep. I mean, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's Diamond Mine Baseball is not everybody's cup of tea. That's certainly for sure. All right, we are going to do July 1967, and here we go. Actually, the gameplay is... I've never shown a game on here uh, where you can manage on Diamond Mine Baseball. Um, but, it's, but again, it's not everybody's cup of tea. It's very Spartan. Uh, but it has the best play-by-play. The bet the the play by play out of the box in Diamond Mine Baseball. The only thing that, that I think maybe compares to it would be baseball for windows, but that's an unfair comparison because you've got Ernie Harwell calling the game. But it's not everybody's cup of tea. I mean, you know, there to me, there's you know, PC replay baseball just doesn't grab me. It's I know for a lot of people it's a great game, they love it. Um, inside pitch, also the PC version just looked kind of you know. I mean, the, the, the dice game, I love watching Robert play it. I love watching D B David Baseball Demos play it. I love watching Sakuni 007. But um, Inside Pitch is just not a, not a game that really, really grabs me. So I get it. John says Diamond Mind is still being updated. A new patch is supposed to be released this month. Yeah, I'm hoping it's about time. Good evening, Todd B. How you doing? So... The UI is awful. I should do a thing on Diamond Mind again. Diamond Mind is something, and again, it's 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 not going to be everybody's cup of tea, but you know what? Neither is out of the park baseball, neither is action PC, what have you. Um, 
what the thing about diamond mind is deceiving is it's a super 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 deep baseball sim but it doesn't look like it it's it's so spartan there's no sound there's no anything there's no animation great play by play um but the thing about diamond mind baseball is you got to be happy playing with databases because that's really where the game shines but i get you you know i i, I get you tex ags i mean it's just not something that grabs you and so you know what can you say i mean and you know i probably should change the description in the video i mean i you know i'd, I'd love to know what the cards and dice guys are looking for in cards and dice games so like for me i'm loving 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 pocket pennant run uh the the the, the software the updated software is just cool. The cards look great. Um, you know, I really love it. Time travel baseball has been a lot of fun so far. And uh, I haven't played a lot of a game called Dead Ball Baseball by WM Ackers, but I do want to get in that. You create your own team cards in that as well. Um, it's pretty, they're pretty neat. But I'd love to know from the cards and dice game, guys, what they look for. Um. Yeah, so so Tex Axe says a lot of other much better games. Get it? Um, Todd B says, uh, five years from now, how many of these um, outlying games fold or cease to exist? I think Pocket Pennant Run, if we're talking about cards and dice, Pocket Pennant Run is is there. Th these guys are going to be around for the long haul. The, it's it's a real passion project for them, and. Uh, I might go so far as to say is, you know, because they're able to put a really good baseball sim into something that literally the whole box and everything fits in the palm of your hand. Yeah, you put it out. You know what? The biggest footprint the game really has is just the mats. You know, you, if you buy the mat, and if not, you can just deal out the, the, the cards. It's a pretty small footprint. They might be, it might be a big paradigm shift. You know, I, I think of games like Status Pro Baseball, which I love. But that's got a big footprint, man. Not not like say a big dungeon crawler game, uh, you know, like Massive Darkness or or Gloomhaven or something. But it's it's you know it's a pretty big game board, and I think people are looking. You know, I don't know. I I, I just like the streamlined feel. So it's a good question, though. Yeah, the printed version. You hate printing and cutting cards. Yeah, I get it. Cards nice. So what Tex Ags looks for is good quality cards, um, not so many charts, easy base running rules. Yeah. So so pocket pennant run for you hits almost all the bases. Um, Tex Ags. The only thing is, is while it does come with some printed cards, really the idea is to print your own. Um, but there's there's some people that just take their stuff to you know, a FedEx office or office max or office depot or whatever, and do that. Um, for me, um, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to play some of it with digital diamond baseball and some of it using that app that I showed you guys, which by the way, the, the link for Curtis Roberts, that software that he did, that webpage he did, the link is in, uh, on that video now. All right. Where are we now? We've gone through July Red Sox hanging on. Giants, Cardinals not really making a move. Um, so Giants opening up that lead. They're four and a half over the Dodgers. And the Red Sox keeping the uh, the Orioles at bay. Um, half game back, the Baltimore Orioles. All right. Moving on. Moving on to August. All right, so for Tex Ag says payoff pitch, history maker baseball, pine tar, status pro replay are your favorites. All good games. They are all good games. My only thing about history maker baseball, and it's not a knock, I think that there's too many questions you have to ask it. You know, mm -hmm. is he a slugger, decider die says this or whatever? Um, I think that for me, that's maybe once I get full into cards and dice history maker and i've heard you can create your own players in it which makes me kind of happy um 
but some of the other you named pine tar really interests me status pro i played i played oh my god i don't know how i can't tell you how much and and so i'm of course like chuffed that it's like included in digital diamond baseball so it's like geez this is great man i can get back to my undergraduate days a deep drive and season ticket the new games that are really good i've heard deep drive is pretty good um i'm kind of like in the ken castro boat looking for older seasons but yeah john says we're in the golden age of baseball sims i don't think there's ever been this many i think you're right and think about guys like ken you know, when he was getting into the hobby and stuff like that, well, you had Appa and Strat, and I think there was like Catico, and uh, I think, well, Sports Illustrated Baseball was around. So I guess that would be the early 70s. I don't know when Ken started playing, it was in the 60s or 70s. Um, so Sports Illustrated Baseball was only around for a couple of years. You had Avalon Hill, but yeah, I think you're right for both for, for, for PC and for uh, cards and dice man this is it's like you we can pick and choose and i love that i love that i think you're absolutely right john the thing that's really going to surprise you guys when we get to it is how quickly baseball for appa baseball for windows um replays a season it's fast um sports time machine he plays strat pc so he volunteered so it's really nice he's gonna auto sim 1967 on strat so we can talk about that as well so that'll be fun because i don't i refuse to play strat pc anymore but um so looking forward looking forward and uh as far as digital this is another reason why i love digital sims because try to do this you know how long would this take doing cards and dice playing every game so um if i had the time i would do it but uh yeah you know i'm still looking for that desert island game and um so for me there's three digital digital sims and that's out of the park baseball action pc and baseball for windows and if I had to choose one, I think it would be out of the park baseball. You know, last year it was kind of like the action PC baseball had the edge over it. But since I've been diving deeper and deeper and deeper into out of the park baseball, um, if that was it, I had a desert island with, um, with electricity, of course, it would be out of the park baseball. Definitely. That would be my game. As far as cards and dice, I, hard to speak to that. I suppose right now it'd be pocket pennant run because I'd have to have a place to plug in a printer and lots of paper. But uh, I'm I'm so spoiled now with digital sims that I, I don't really want to buy seasons for cards and dice games anymore. So, but I've heard that season ticket is a really really good game. Texag says, new game by Al Wilson. Fascinating baseball coming out 15 December, he thinks. It's a quick uh, quick play, inning by inning game. It looks very interesting, and it'll be free. Free? Well, now, see, now you're speaking here. There we go. Guys, fastinningbaseball.com, huh? So Al Wilson, I mean, he that guy knows this. He knows his baseball. Fascinatingbaseball.com. I'm going to, um, while this is playing, I mean, see what this has to offer. So it can't be reached. Oh, that sucks. Did I misspell it? No, I don't know what's going on. Let me put John, John's comment up here. I really like that. I'm, I'm not, I keep forgetting I'm on StreamYard and I can show your, your comments Todd so I mean Todd you do ask a good question because this is such a niche hobby it really really is you know I mean I compared it once to performance magic but um there's probably there's probably a few more magicians out there than there are people that play um 
that sim out baseball, I would think. And it's been around forever. So I, that's a good question because everybody's going after that same buck. Oh, look at this. The Baltimore Orioles now two games up in the Red Sox. And in the National League, the Cardinals just uh, – not making a move here at all. They're kind of just hanging around down in the middle of the pack, just below the, the box. So the box are 67 and 67. So they were 81 and 81 in 1967. So curious to see. I haven't looked at baseball reference to look at, uh, you know, who was where. I just know it was Red Sox Cardinals in the World Series. So, And there's Mike who says that he's going to be auto-simming um, – 1967 at some point for us. Um, Jamie says, yeah, I think you could take 100 random people and uh, not find one person plays these games. You're right. And I mean, I'll mention my friends, you know, I'll say, oh, yeah, I have a YouTube channel and I kind of leave it at that. Like, what do you do? It's like, well, I do these like, you know, sophisticated digital baseball sims. And they're like, huh? And, and these are gamer friends, Jamie. They're gamer friends, right? So, you know, all I'd have to do is mention, oh, yeah, you know, I play some, if I, if I was doing it, yeah, I play Massive Darkness or Gloomhaven or, uh, you know, Mage Knight, Lord of the Rings, Sword and Sorcery. They'd be like, oh, man, that's great. We've got to check out your channel. They're like, wait, out of the park, what? Who? So I think you're right, Jamie. I absolutely think you're right. How you doing, Sports Time Machine Mike? Um, so here is the link, guys. And I am going to... Oh, this is why I don't like, um, because I can't copy it. That sucks. I'll, I'll look it up on YouTube, though. Fast inning baseball. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Here's Mike saying hello to everybody. Excellent channel. Everybody should subscribe to. Um, let me see who's doing the beatdowns. So the Orioles versus, they're seven and five against the Red Sox. Uh, let me see. Is there anybody putting the hurt on the Orioles right now? No, not really the hurt. They're having a little trouble with the Yankees. They're seven and nine against the Yankees, uh, the, the, the senators, but come on, no, no surprise there. So the Red Sox, uh, they still having their wicked way with the Yankees. Well, not so much. I mean, nine and five, but look at this against the angels and against the white Sox. Um, that's where Boston's doing its predatory practices. So um, just curious now that we're pretty much late into this here. Um, let me see here. Let's go to batting leaders. So K-Line's leading in batting right now. Home runs, Yaz and Mickey Mantle tied at 28. Killebrew at 25. Hank Aaron has 24. Um, slugging percentage. Um, yeah, he's having a good year, but I don't know if he's going to pull off the triple crown in this one. RBI, 93. Uh, Brooks Robinson behind him, but again, a 79. So, Yastrzemski with a little bit of big, bigger margin here. Okay. Um, and I'm just, I'm just letting it show just 10 leaders at a time. Uh, we haven't looked at pitching leaders, have we? So we have four 20 game winners right now. Tom Phoebus, Fergie Jenkins, Fergie Jenkins, I'm sorry, Claude Osteen and Jim Bunning, Earl Wilson, uh, Dave Boswell, Don Sutton, and Juan Marichal and Gaylord Perry at 19. Uh, Don Sutton with good win loss percentage there. See, ERA, it's Dean Chance right now, 1.26. We have four guys below two Gibson, Perry, Jenkins, and Chance. Um, Dean Chance's whip is 0 0.85. Wow. Pretty good. Complete games, the, the dead stat now in baseball. Jim Bunnings pitched 277 innings. Who's the big strikeout guy here? Jim Bunning with 208. Dean Chance has nine shutouts. It's fun to look at these things. It really is. All right. Let's see. We are going into September. September to remember. It, it uh, kind of takes the person from some of the imagination, likes games and likes sports to want to play these games. Yeah, and and there's 
not a lot of us that are that right i mean a lot of gamers aren't sports fans or whatever at least a lot of the gamers i know you know D D warhammer or whatever so yeah we're we're kind of at a niche within a niche and of course the bellwether for that is big bang theory right because now it's cool to be a, a it's cool to be a nerd since big bang theory but they never played strat or appa on there <laughs> they played talisman a lot and um you know a game that looked like magic the gathering or whatever i guess they weren't allowed to use it or something i don't know so what do we got yeah mantle 28 and 67 resurgence yeah the mick would retire what the next 1968 i believe is last year right like says uh and our gamer friends and our sports gaming nerds like us yeah you're you're right you're you're absolutely right and um and what what amazing is you guys with you guys which is really really cool um is that you guys are like huge fans of not just baseball but the other sports as well and i'm thinking god how do you guys keep up with it now that being said i'm going to do some miniature golf on this channel believe it or not i've got a nice little collection of miniature i, I love miniature golf <coughs> and create your own courses i just picked up one tonight overwhelmingly positive uh, ratings on steam it's for 4.99 it's called golf it or it's very positive whatever make your own courses or something like seventeen thousand. like i don't know it's huge you should check it out guys pretty cool and uh picked up some other stuff too through the years golf with your friends and all that because uh, i think miniature golf is the true metal of a man i don't care how hard you can drive a ball can you get it through that damn windmill there you go buddy <laughs> all right thanks guys for hanging out here and keeping me company for a little bit we're we're almost done with this one actually with this stream even so it'll be cool to have that conversation um about games after going through all of these again and and you guys already provided a lot of a lot of great great perspectives which i'm not surprised given uh, this community i think i think one of the things that we all wish for would be the definitive baseball sim that would look like mlb the show <laughs> that would be nice so tex access tried stone cold hockey really fun takes about 10 minutes to play a game pc version of dice version yeah uh, dave dave gardner i know plays that a lot um robbie wartberg was a uh, beta tester on that game everybody remembers Robbie we hope he comes back after the semester's over at least um but yeah Dave's Dave's the hockey man he's the hockey man he does this but I I don't know so for me like it's just baseball all the time there's no off season for me really and I think it's it's really cool because I'll watch you guys in other chats and you'll be able to rattle off all these you know football players and stats and basketball and hockey and it blows my mind it's enough for me to try to just keep baseball you know in the small amount of gray matter that i have so hats off to you guys because i i couldn't do it i'd be like huh what are you talking about good stuff So, um, it's Cooney. I don't know if he did his stream on Sunday. I didn't hear anything about it. I know that he wants to do some live streaming. Mike Silva did a live stream and did a pretty damn good job too. Got to, got to hand it to him. We are almost at the end. 29 September. Hey, there's Bernie. He says, better late than never. Good to see you, Bernie. Bernie the man. All right, gents. Let us check out what we have. 1967. Finally, the Baltimore Orioles and the San Francisco Giants. The Red Sox finished four back. Again, there's no human intervention in this at all. So, um. 
a, a three game win streak there by the Orioles. Um, good stuff. I don't think there's anything to play in October in this. So, um, but I'll be keeping these results as we go into other games and auto sim everything out and we'll get deeper into reports. Let me see if there's anything left. Um, well, let's play October. Uh, unexpected. That's because, um, what is alternate action? We just killed the game. Oh, well, you get to you'll get hit. You get to hear the fun music. Maybe. No, you won't. There you go. All right. Can we look at the league reports for 1967? All right. So who did what? All right, so who finally finished in batting average? Al Kaline won the batting crown. Wow, 351. Uh, Yastrzemski with 105 runs batted in. So, yeah, Brooks Robinson never had a chance to catch him. Who hit, who hit the home runs? Mickey Mantle with 34. Yaz just behind him at 32. So, hey, look at that there. We, had a, we have a pirate leading something or other. Uh, Matty Lou with 12 trip, 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 triples. So there we go. Let's see. Vada Pinson had 43 steals. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, let's look at our pitching leaders here. So we have, what, six 22-game winners. Dean Chance wins the ERA crown, 1.43. Juan Marichal with a 0 0.90 whip. Dean Chance just behind him and Bob Gibson. So, fun stuff. Fergie Jenkins ends up to be the workhorse. 334 innings pitched. Jim Bunning struck out 240 in the year. Sam McDowell with the Indians. Second at 236. Jim Lomborg pitches 10 shutouts. Um, let's see who beat up on whom. All right, so ba, 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 ba. so they went 11 and 7 against the Red Sox. The Red Sox did really well against California, against the White Sox, pretty well against the Indians, did already against the Tigers. Um, did very well against the Yankees, 11 and 7, as they did with the Senators. Um, but final stands, how my Pirates do? So the Cardinals didn't do crap, man. They ended up 23 games out. The Bucks 21 games out. The Pirates finished 81 and 81 that year. So that's 1967. And we can do, we can look at all our team stats. And so there's for Atlanta. And let's look at, let's look at Boston. Let's see what Boston did really quickly. So there we go. There they are. So where's where to go? There's Mr. Yaz Stremsky, 32 home runs, 105 runs batted in. What's his batting average? So yeah, I kind of got man, only 295 batting average. So Bernie, you probably know offhand what did what did Jastrzemski bat that year? Because it was a triple crown year for him. So I think it's I think it's Michael Silva, Mike. So Tex Ag says, he says, well, for me, he's a sports fan. He's watched all the sports from his childhood, and he's 67. Man with 22 home runs in real life. Wow, might stick around a bit longer. Um, let's look at the Yankees for Mike. There they are. And too bad these aren't sortable. I like I like games that have that, that have that sortable thing to them, but that's okay. So the Mick with 34 dingers. How about that? A year, a year away from his final year of career, huh? So, um, pitching leaders, game results. We've already looked at that kind of stuff. So I don't know if maybe Yaz was uh, whatever. But there we go. There's the league stats. I wish there was a a sort of highlight so you could just quickly look like you could in. Uh, um, just about every every baseball game and baseball reference, but uh, I really I really like. There's a lot of reports. 
All right, so that does it for Dombrov. That does it for Dombrov baseball. Okay, so he was 44, 126, and 326. Team record for the Yankees. So if you're talking about this, the, the league stats here, Mike. So I see the ranking pitching here by uh, ERA. The White Sox, as a team, have the lowest ERA. Let's see what the Yankees. Is it the pitching that let them down or what? Oh, okay. So the one loss, 72 and 90 in real life. Let's see. What were the Yankees in this replay? 68 and 93. So, so the surprise in this really, to me, is is the, uh, the St. Louis Cardinals. Right? I mean... Okay, the Red Sox didn't win, but they were they were in it the whole season. Uh, but the car the Pirates were in first place. You guys saw we did April. They fell quickly, but the Cardinals never moved, never never moved. So um, I'll be saving all these, and we can compare all of these two um, in Baseball Reference once I get done with the other baseball sims. But uh, that's it for Dombrov. And another night I'll show the game again because I do think it does have. Um, a lot going for it, but you have to be, you have to be able to look past the crappy animation because it's just not good. So that's about it, guys, for the baseball. Um, Mike says, um, now we're all about rabbit holes. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I love it. I love it. All right, you're welcome, Tex Ags. And thank you, guys. This is a short one. Just coming in in about an hour, and we replayed 1967. For a couple of you, I'll show you what the game looks like so you can see. We're actually not going to let it play. I'm going to have to close this out, though. And we're going to pick another season just so that you can just get, get a quick look at what the game looks like. So I'm going to change the active season to 1971 and just do a, an exhibition game so let's pick uh let's pick one so let's do phillies pirates we're not going to do do a game per se i just want you guys to see what it looks like and why i'm saying about the, the graphics meh eh. So this is where you set your lineups and stuff like that. But I'm just going to go ahead. Now, you're going to hear a really, really bad national anthem. It sounds like a funeral dirge. You can set players and stuff like that on the field. But we're not going to get into that. That's a bit of a meh, too. But like Sports Illustrated Baseball, um, you know, this, this, this does handedness and stuff like that. And it's all color-coded. Whoever thought green and red was a good idea was a really bad idea because, you know, colorblindness and stuff like that. All right. So hold your ears. Here we go. Okay. So the nice thing about this game is... You don't really have to set. I mean, the players are all there and all that. That's that's really, really, really cool. So then this will be who's up. There's your lineup. And uh, you can either you there's a number of ways you can play the game. So um, if you go to settings, boop, you can have manual dice rolls. So you can play this as a baseball sim, team charts, player cards. So let's do with player cards. And let me show you what that looks like. Um, oh, I have to do the manual dice rolls as well for this. So this is the dice rolls and stuff like that. Um, let's go back to settings again. And I don't have manual dice rolls, so I can't, or I don't, I don't have the dice for this thing. So 
Um, let's do is it team charts, I think. I don't remember. I don't usually play the game this way. So there you can see the team charts, and it will show probabilities um, and stuff like this. And I can click on anybody um, again. So, but right now I can pitch, boom, 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 boom. I usually don't play it like this. So you can have, you do have some managerial choices here, but I'm going to go back to settings. I usually just play it as a baseball sim. However, um, the, the, the player cards are really, really nice in this game. Really, really nice. Let me see if I can uh, bring one up and show you what they look like. Ah. I'm so used to the other games I've played. Oh, there we go. Cards. Boop. So if you played Sports Illustrated Baseball, which I never did, but I've seen pictures of the cards, um, there's all the dice rolls, everything like that. And uh, what's really nice about this is, like, all these, all the players, right? There you go. And all you have to do is just you advance through your batting order. And you play. You can play right off the card, right on screen, which is really cool. And then there are the pitcher cards and stuff like that. Um, you can find the rules um, online to play Sports Illustrated Baseball for. I think this game's fourteen dollars ninety nine cents. It's not bad. Not bad. All right, guys, that is it. I want to thank Sports Time Machine, John DFW, Tex Ags seventy five, Bernie. Bernard Strom, Sports Replays, great channel. This is Sports Time Machine. Sports Gaming Journal, Jamie. I like saying that. Thanks for coming in. John DFW, Todd B. Dwayne Martz, YouTube Network, who said, love playing head-to-head. -head. That's the original reason I bought Action PC. Well, I'll play you head-to-head -head anytime, man. I'd love to play. Mike Silva was in earlier with us. Doug Hunt, thank you, Doug Hunt, for coming in. I think that's pretty much everybody. Dwayne was the first one in the ballpark tonight. All right. All right. Good night, everybody. Till next we meet, we'll see you around the batting cage. And so we finished 1967. The next baseball sim we're going to do um, in this is probably going to be pure sim baseball. So uh, 1967 is ready to go in that. We might even do a game, a live game in that. All right, guys. I'm going to, since this game's up, I'm going to play it. So. Take care and see you around the batting cage. Good night.